Is there a purgatory? It is the question that many are asked. The truth is that the concept or idea of purgatory was adopted by Pope Gregory the Great in the year 593. This produced such a rejection of the new idea of Pope Gregory in the society of those times that had to pass more than 846 years, more precisely in the year 1439. The dogma of a fictitious place called purgatory was finally adopted as a truth by the Vatican Council of Florence. With this the Church of Rome is telling us that the only way to enter heaven is through the purification in purgatory. The problem is that this belief blatantly contradicts the scriptures of the Holy Bible since it is precisely the Bible which declares that the only way to enter the third heaven is by the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, the blood of Jesus is a unique way to cleanse and purify the souls and sins of men. There is also another lethal contradiction with the idea of purgatory, since according to the Roman Church, the purgatory would be the way to reach the Father, who is in the third heaven, because according to the Vatican this would be the only way to purify souls, and this as well contradicts the Bible which states that the only way to reach the Father is through his unigenite Son Jesus Christ. Therefore there is no other way apart from the Lamb of God to reach the Father, the third heaven, and salvation. The idea of purgatory, adopted in the year 593 by Pope Gregory the Great, was born in times when the Roman Church needed to gain more influence and wealth, which is why, by creating a place where the dead are supposed to need indulgences to save themselves, by being purified in the purgatory to reach heaven, makes it a very profitable means, because by buying such indulgences with money and offerings, it is possible to increase in a very significant way the financial coffers of the Vatican government. It is written that we should not follow other ideas, concepts, theories, and dogmas that are not present in the Bible, as first of Galatians from verses 6 to 9 declares, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him, that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received, let him be accursed.